I'd like to extend a special thanks to each of our witnesses who are here today for taking the time to provide this committee with their testimony. The SBI program is one of those government programs that actually works. Specifically, the program encourages and supports risk and entrepreneurship within the small business community. The program is based on the correct theory that responsible government assistance at the right time can be critical in startup and development stages of a small firm. Not only does it spur growth in, in individual companies, the program stresses the importance of expanding and diversifying research opportunities for the pool of companies the federal government uses to procure products and services. Thus, the SBIR program encourages both economic growth and innovation. Created in 1982, the SBIR program offers competition-based awards to stimulate technological innovation among small firms while providing government agencies new, cost-effective, technical, and scientific solutions to meet their diverse needs. The development of these programs not only are critical to the unique needs of each of the participating federal agencies, but also to our national economy. Small businesses invigorate the U.S. economy by introducing new products and cheaper ways of doing business, many times with substantial economic benefits. They play a key role in introducing technologies to the market, often responding quickly to new market opportunities. Some of the greatest technological innovations come from small business owners experimenting in their workshops and labs. And the SBIR program provides these innovators with an opportunity to grow their ideas into practice, provide jobs, and improve our economy. The SBIR was last reauthorized in the year 2000. And I'm sure as everyone in this room would admit, Undoubtedly, a lot can change over that length of time. And to fully capitalize on the benefits of this program, this is a very opportune time to reauthorize and also modernize it. The proposals we have before us go a long way toward achieving the goals of modernizing the SBIR program with greater efficiency and accountability. For example, the legislation before us raises the award sizes for both Phase I and Phase II grants. This is essential because the award sizes have not been increased since the program's inception. Additionally, the National Academies of Science report on the SBIR program made note of the difficulty of properly studying and measuring the performance of the program because of inadequate data collection. In response, these bills will improve the way small businesses and sponsoring agencies share information by creating online databases to improve information flow between the agencies and the participants. The pro proposals before us today will also create an interagency policy among the participating agencies that require reports and reports on specific findings to the relevant congressional committees. The creation of these committees and databases will allow for greater oversight and better management of the SBIR program. However, I, along with members of this committee, have some concerns about some of the provisions of the drafts. And while these concerns in no way overshadow my support of the SBIR program and the good faith effort that is being made here today to improve the program, I remain certain that as this committee has done in the past under the leadership of Chairman Nye and Chairwoman uh, Velasquez, together we will work with those members on the committee to rectify any philosophical difference that may, came up, that may come up as we continue through this process. I look forward to working with Chairman Nye and all of my committees on the, colleagues on this committee as we work on this important legislation. Again, I thank each one of the panelists for being here today. I look forward to your comments, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman.